Now, we'd like to leave gloves and wearables to small dictators. So this is one of the controversies that we encountered in organizing this conference among smoke alarms, underground music in a seated concert hall, other things. But that's what NIME is about, is challenging what's accepted. So that phrase was a title that was proposed and that was censored. It was censored first by our marketing and communications department, and then it was censored by our conference chair, me. <laughs> so being conference chair, when the smoke alarm goes off, I tell the team, don't worry, I'm the one who goes to jail. Um, but in return for being the one who goes to jail, I'm the one, or we're the ones, that get to stand up here to welcome you all. So I'm a, a Tao Tanaka. This is Rebecca Fiebrink. We're the general chairs of NIME 2014. And thank you for coming this evening. So we've seen many familiar faces here from the research community, but we also see some unfamiliar faces or familiar faces from other communities. And the reason we did this keynote in the evening, unusual for an academic conference, is so that we could open it up to the public, get people here who work for a living, who could come after their jobs. <laughs> now, but by making the event public, we wanted to open up what we do in our little corner of the world to broader communities. And I think NIME does map out to these communities. So this will be a little bit introductory for those of you who are here for the conference, but to situate our friends who have come here tonight to join us uh, for the event, I'll actually spell out what the acronym stands for, NIME. Oh, there it is, you can uh, yeah, read it. New Interfaces for Musical Expression. So it is a music conference. A lot is about musical performance, but that second word, interfaces, implies that it's about interaction, something that's increasingly relevant today. It's relevant not just for music, but for design, for computing science, and many, many other fields. And beyond academia, it's relevant now in everyday life with products like the Microsoft Kinect, the Leap Motion, and so forth. And I think that's what we're talking about when we're saying, let's leave our gloves and wearables. I mean, when, when Google Glass is about to be commercialized, that is, it is here in the UK, we really have to think critically about these technologies, what they may offer us, but what they may offer the small and big dictators, the privacy issues, the tracking, what you know even about yourself. Who knows? So to think about these things, I think, is one of the jobs that we do here, and a trend that we've noticed in the conference as we've discussed. What are we talking about in the paper sessions? We do notice a more reflective and more critical tone at NIME. And for a conference that has started as a technology conference, I think that's fantastic. So it's with that in mind that we have invited our two keynote speakers tonight who will introduce and with that in mind that we've made the keynotes a public event. It's one of many public events. All our concerts are open to the public. We're a little tired because some of us, many of us, in fact, were in shortage at a club night last night. And if you like improvised music with some interaction and interfaces, immediately after this, if I stop talking and we stay on time, we'll go to the Amishan Arms, which is the pub right down the street, a pub where we actually hold a bi-monthly gig series um, and that we've hold, uh, we're holding and have programmed a special NIME edition starting promptly at 9.30 if only the censoring conference chair would shut up. Um, tomorrow there's a concert here um, at 6 o'clock and then a club night at Corsica Studios at Elephant and Castle. Friday is a completely open day, so for those of you who are not, don't have lanyards around your neck, who are not registered for the conference, please come on Friday. And for those of you who are registered, please stay for Friday. We've got a technology cafe, a hackathon, an unconference, panel discussions about gender and technology, about movement, computing, a Q&A session with The Wire magazine, amongst other things, and an open jack concert here on this very stage. So feature-packed program, all of Friday is open to the public, 
and Saturday we collapse, except our friend Le Levi Lorenzo and Dennis Sullivan are doing a gallery gig where we'll do, where we'll do the after party. So that's it. Um, if I start thanking specific names, this will really take forever. But as I say, we're the ones who go to jail, but we're also the ones who stand on this stage. But we're not alone in producing uh, this thing. Everyone with a blue t-shirt or a white t-shirt, everyone who's been telling you to go that way and not that way, or been handing you programs, is a considerable team that we've had here. Many who are recognized as chairs of workshops, papers, scientific art, etc., and those who are not recognized, our volunteers, our production team, our tech team. It's a massive team, and that's the only reason we've been able to, able to produce this, dare I say, fairly massive event. So thank you very much to the whole team. Thank you very much, all of you, for being here. And I will pass the microphone now, finally, uh, to our co-chair, general co-chair, Rebecca Fiebring, to introduce our first keynote.